breath is important to human life faith is important for spiritual life in the holy bible we encounter few individuals who exhibited extraordinary faith in god and god in turn blessing them abundantly in the new testament of the holy bible we notice jesus the lord commending some individuals for their faith in god in himself and admonishing few others for their lack of faith so faith becomes very important for a spiritual life more so for christian life in my life i have seen people holding on to their faith in spite of many odds and today i am happy to present you an interview with a man of great faith in god he is mr donald jenkinson a parishioner at queen of all saints basilica in the archdiocese of chicago here we go Hi Dan, how are you? Hi Father, yeah. I'm doing great. Yeah, thank you for taking me out today and having shown me beautiful churches. I just liked it. Thank you, thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, yes, we, we visited the National Shrine for St. Francis Xavier Cabrini, a famous Italian saint who came to the United States and to do most, most, most of her work. Yeah. And then we went to St. Mary of the Angels Church, which is I think the biggest church in Chicago. Chicago, yeah. yeah. A Polish yeah. a Polish yeah. church. Even that church is a just so beautiful church. I just like it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And I would like to now ask you Don about yourself, about your family, and more importantly about how you got to know Jesus in your life. Well, I would say it start, all started out at uh, a young age of uh, maybe seven or eight after my first Holy Communion at St. Dorothy's School on the south side of Chicago. Uh, I, had, I had sisters there, nuns. That, nuns that I looked up to very much. Okay. Um, they were very holy people. Mm -hmm. The priests were very holy. Uh, my father and mother were were good examples. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad sang in the choir. Your dad was in the in the choir. In the choir at wow. church. Your dad's name. My dad was Roy Francis Jenkinson, Roy Francis born Jenkinson. in Chicago, okay. as I was. Okay. And uh, I followed as much as possible in his footsteps. Okay. I think at a young age. I learned that uh, there were gifts coming to me that I didn't ask for. Mm -hmm. uh, God was present. God was present in my family, my brother, my sister, my parents, my grandparents, um, who came over here from Czechoslovakia, or mm -hmm. some of them did. Mm -hmm. Czechoslovakia. And, um, so uh, when I went to high school, I wasn't able to go to a Catholic high school. Mm -hmm. um, since I was going to a public high school, but what was very good technical education, yeah. after school, I would have my religious education to supplement the, the, secular, the secular life that I was living. But at the same time, on weekends, I was in the choir with my father. Mm -hmm at several different churches, St. Wenceslas, which was a Polish church, St. Viators, um, St. Clotilde on the south side, St. Dorothy's where I was in second grade, St. Priscilla where I graduated from eighth grade. And um, I, just, I just have been exposed to many priests and nuns. I've gone on retreats. Uh, that were all very valuable to me in my upbringing. 
And I, I met a wonderful woman that I married. We had eight children. Yeah, you had a wife. Five. You had a wife. Yeah. Five boys. Five boys. Three girls. Three girls. Yeah. So you had a great family. So we had family. we had a great family life. We've lived in this house. Yeah. All that time. And um, all the kids had uh, kindergarten through eighth grade Catholic education. Most of them had, most of them had a Catholic high school education, mm -hmm. with all the sports and everything that goes along with that, yeah. and the extracurricular activities. We vacationed together. We we loved each other. And we stayed, we stayed close to Christ. That's wonderful, Don. Thank you for that. Don, now, uh, can you say something about your difficult moments in your life? And uh, how you kept up your faith in all those uh, difficult and tough moments in your life? Well, it was hard. It was hard. It's never easy. But it, it, um, it takes a lot of faith in God if you're to maintain uh, any sanity. Um, having a good wife to encourage you when you get up in the morning and she says, you'll be okay. Don't worry. You'll be okay. I lost my job. With seven children, I had no money coming in. Uh, my unemployment compensation ran out after six months. So I was using savings. But I I, I don't think I lo ever lost the faith in God. It was in, on his terms, not on my terms. And uh, so... I was able to find a job and a better job, so wow. so the, and by God's grace and by and by God's grace. Um, one of the other difficult moments of my life was my daughter running away. Again, God came back, brought her back. So He brings back the people into the fold, and we always have to have faith that. What we taught them will, they'll remember at some point and return. Even though they made a mistake, they'll return. And that's, that's all that counts. The third thing was my wife having cancer at age 49, three different brain tumors, and very difficult to put up with. The prayer, the entire family praying for us, the family sending us on holidays, uh, they sent us on a cruise, they chipped in all their money, and my wife lived 28 more years. That's amazing. So Incredible. It's so it, it took a lot of prayer, but it was worth it. <laughs> because I had her... We, we had her wake on our 60th wedding anniversary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was so, I was so pleased yeah. that, that uh, she was with us that many years. She asked God many times. She says, God, just let me see my grandchildren. And he did. When she passed away, when did she pass away? She passed away May 18th, May 2021. 20, yeah. So I was not here, yeah. And um, um, she was just wonderful to her children. Mm -hmm. There were more people at the wake yeah, yeah. than I could imagine. Well, the other, the other thing is 12 days before my son died of Chris. pancreatic cancer. My son Christopher son died Chris, yeah. of pancreatic cancer and uh, we did not tell my wife that he died because 
we didn't think she had too many days left herself. Mm -hmm. So we had a, a wake for both of them the same night, mm -hmm. the mass the following day, and the burial the following day. Our whole family embraced and got together more than they've ever been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel so sorry for all that. But with all this, how do you, how do you but, like, how do you take your faith? I mean, how do you see well, all well, these things? In well, your through faith? all of this, I kept going to the chapel at the hospital, praying for my wife, and I, I sincerely believe that those prayers were answered because each time she got the cancer that came back, the doctors were able to care for her. And the doctors are just amazing people. Um, we were at Catholic hospitals all the, all the time. And um, they just did a marvelous job. Their follow-up treatment continued additional MRI scans, and uh, they all were negative. After a while, they were all negative, and she continued to live and take care of her grandchildren, which she wanted so much to see. Yeah, yeah. So she lived to be almost 80 years old, which I'm very happy for. Yeah. And God, God blessed me yeah, yeah. very so, much. So now, with all this, how do you how do you see yourself you now you're all alone in the house how do you well, like you know how do you live your faith now like how do you see the whole thing in the faith well i continue to be an usher at the nine o'clock mass at church okay yeah i'm active in other ways uh at the church with homebound ministry yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, in other ways i can help my neighbor okay i have i have neighbors that have more serious problems than me mm -hmm. that I try to help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don, thank you very much for the time given to me. You're welcome. Yeah. Now shall we pray together? Yes, Father. Well, okay. Our Father, what in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those, those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.